Gamers and gamettes, what is going on? My name is Tanek127, and welcome back to another video. And surprise, guys, y'all asked, I answered. We are bringing Warframe content to the channel. Now, um, forgive me for wasting a bit of your time with this intro, but I do want to say a special shout out to my buddy, the Asylum Warden, because he is going to be the one helping me with this series, and he's going to be commentating with me on a lot of the future videos I do in this Warframe series. Because, guys, I want to tell y'all straight up, I am a noob at Warframe. Like, probably past this beginner's guide, there's probably, I'm pretty much useless. So, Asylum's going to be helping me out a lot with this series. These videos are going to be fairly slow, so do um, bear with me. But anyway, what we're going to be doing in this tutorial today is just giving you guys a tour of the ship, showing you how the quest lines work and stuff like that. Nothing too serious, nothing nothing too crazy, you know, nothing um like veteran-like or... Or anything just showing you guys you know like where you where you get started after you finish the intro section now if you're um if you're just booting up warframe for the first time and you're doing the introduction quest and and all that stuff and you're still locked up in a little like cell cage looking thing shut this video off go enjoy your intro storyline then come back to this to this video i'm telling you to do that right now for your own personal enjoyment and for the fact that this video covers nothing about that introduction quest that introduction quest is just going to teach you basic movements and how to shoot and stuff in the game so tr trust me if you've had a controller before you know how to do that so i <laughs> i don't even think we need to worry about that but anyway guys let's go ahead and get started we have a few sections of the ship we're going to be covering today we're going to go over the um the conclave which is basically just access to the um to the pvp area the new section is pretty self-explanatory we have the navigation portal we have the um, the syndicates, which we're really not going to do much with today. We have the codex. We're definitely going to be dipping into there, dipping into there a bit. Show you guys the mod section, how that works. Teach you a bit about the foundry. Um, I'll let you guys see my incubator and my Kubra and stuff like that. And then we'll be showing you the the arsenal and void relics. I guess we can show that too, but even even though that's not really a I don't think that's a beginner's thing. So Void Relics, I don't know. We're going to save that for one of the future one of the future episodes. But we'll go ahead and start with the navigation portal since this is like the main section of the ship. And whenever you go out and do a mission, you're going to be sp spending probably a decent amount of time looking at what you need to do right here. So if you push L1 and R1 or LB and RB, depending on whether you're playing on Xbox or PlayStation, I'm not sure what it is for PC. But you're going to see a section here called Events, Quest, Alerts, Invasions, and void fissures now what all these are are pretty self-explanatory that's the status of the invasions of um of different alien races going against each other right now void fissures these are special types of missions alerts are basically timed events quests are your main and side quest going on and events are events <laughs> so um Serious Junction of Mars, that's pretty much my next objective. If you go ahead and click this under the quest section, it'll take you right to the planet where your next objective is. The Serious Junction, which is glowing blue right here. The next thing I need to do is refine a Void Relic once at the console in your orbiter. Now, um, chances are if I didn't have the Void Relic, I'm guessing that um, it would be in one of these places. These, whenever you see areas glowing blue after you click, click quest, Chances are these places either have or what you need or who you need to kill, whatever your quest is, can be done in one or all of these areas. So guys, the game does a pretty good job of um, of telling you where to go. You just need to know what the indications are, and that's kind of the point, the point of this guide. Now, as of quest and where do you get them from, you actually come over here to the codex. The codex is actually a very handy section in Warframe, and this is probably one of the most important things on this ship. And don't be fooled, because a lot of people won't tell you that. But if you come over here to Universe, they'll show you all the Warframes and Archwings, all the weapons, factions, tell you the lore on them, the mods, the, um, the art gallery, and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. But companions, objects, relics, and arcane, you can learn a lot here in the Codex. Training, they tell you all about, you know, the different types of things. For anyone, if you have time, or whenever you do have spare time, I recommend going through the whole training section. Because you'll learn a lot about this game through here. Like a lot of the stuff I'm telling you guys in this guide, I learned from this training section. So trust me, the training section is a is a big help. They tell you about the different types of missions right here. These are the different types of missions and things that you'll be doing in PvE and PvP PvP game modes. But right over here is your quest section. 
These are going to be basically tell you your storyline quest and where to go next. I recommend doing all these in order. Now, granted, it's going to throw you off a little bit because of prerequisites, and um, certain ones are going to be easier and quicker to do at the beginning, like How of the Cool Brow and the Archwing, for example. These you can literally do right away because you're literally just obtaining items to build something. This is making it so you can hatch your companion, which is called a Cool Brow. This is so you can build your Archwing, which is a really, really easy thing to do. And Once Awake is like just part of the beginning storyline, so it's it's kind of hard not to do Once Awake right away because you're literally like kicked into it once you start. But as you guys can see, Saya's Vigil right here, for example. The prerequisites I need to complete it are Vor's Prize Quest. As you guys can see, I got Vor's Prize done. Attain Mastery Rank 1. I do have a Mastery Rank of 1. Complete a Bounty in Cetus and talk to Kanzu in Cetus. If I do those things, I can start Saya's Vigil. Now you guys saw a thing up there called Mastery Rank. Well, if you push start and look at your menu right up here by your name, as you guys can see, that's me, Tanek127. There's my player icon. This number right here that says 3 is my mastery rank. Your mastery rank is basically just, um, it kind of shows, like, your experience and everything in, in the game. It doesn't, just because you see someone with a high mastery rank doesn't mean, you know, that they're a god-like player. It just means that they've went through a lot of the prerequisites to progress in, in the game. Now, um, these are going to start simple. They're just going to be things like doing quests and um, completing different junctions and stuff like that. But later on, they're going to get more complex, like maxing out a certain amount of warframes, using special weapons, and stuff like that. The cool thing about this game is as you progress towards endgame, it kind of forces you to try out every, or mo I'm not going to say every, but multiple different play styles just so you can, you know, feel the game out and feel out what you like and stuff and stuff like that. So... You got you got to give it give it credit for that you know if you don't like a certain play style and you're not used to playing it and the game makes you try it out and you end up finding out you do like it you know that that's one advantage that's one advantage for you when you when you get later on in in um in end game now the conclave this is um pretty simple this is more of like a you know just a fun thing this is basically all the PvP all the PvP moves um annihilation one versus all is basically just free for all team annihilation is team deathmatch. Cephalon captures capture the flag and Lunaro. I don't exactly remember how this one this one works. I think it's more so like a um, Like a, I think like a domination kind of thing I could be I could be wrong I honestly don't remember how that one works. So forgive me guys. I'm not even gonna act like I do I'm just taking a fair guess, but um Yeah, that's all the uh that's all the conclave is. It just gives you access to the PvP activity and stuff like that. Those are a lot of fun. So be sure to um, to try those out. In the market, pretty self-explanatory. You come here to you know to um to spend all of your platinum and credits here on on good stuff. Now the game has two currencies, platinum and credits. Both of these currencies can be earned in game. And I believe platinum once you get to a certain point can also be uh be traded be traded among players now platinum is the most popular currency because you know it's the paid for one it's the one that can like buy warframes straight out um special weapons and stuff like that don't let that fool you because you can buy those things this game is not pay to win at all trust me and trust and believe on that any frame in this game any weapon in this game anything you use in this game can be powerful like um my friends for example a lot of them they doubted my uh, my Neza here. Neza's a very slept-on character in Warframe. Well, until I started showing a lot of my friends a bit of my build here, um, I was able to change a lot of people's a lot of people's minds about Neza, which I'll be showing you guys in a um, in a, in a future video. So trust me, guys. Any frame, any weapon in this game can be good depending on how you build it. Now, next up, I'm going to show you guys the um, the mod section. Mods, I want you to think think about these similar to like um the best way to explain them. I'd say kind of look at them like materia in Final Fantasy 7. Basically, you have a certain amount of mod slots on your character as you level up, your mod slots will increase. And um these numbers in the top right hand corner are how many slots they'll take for your mod slots on your current frame. Mods can be used in frames and, and weapons, which I'm gonna show you guys in a bit. But they all do different things, like Vitality 40% health is going to give me 40% more health to my Warframe. Warm Coat increases shield resistance to ice levels by 3%, meaning my shield is now more resistant to ice. Shocking Touch 
my melee now does 15% le electric damage on top of my, my normal damage. It's really, you know, simple, self-explanatory stuff. They do d get a bit more complex and everything at end game, at end game and things like that. But next up, we do have our um, our arsenal where you go to equip your different weapons, change your frames, color, and all that stuff. The frames are completely customizable with different colors and with different colors and things. And like I was telling you guys about the mods, this sword has like fire, ice, and and poison on it, and one other element I believe. As you guys can see, that's why it's glowing and doing a bunch of a bunch of weird stuff. And you can look at your abilities, learn more about your your frame. There's different gear pieces you can add just for fun and um and a cosmetic taste and everything like i said all that stuff's purchable none of it affects your stats it's all about you know just your 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 characters your characters look um the foundry this is where you come to craft different frames and and mods now keep in mind there's something you want to build here and it's not showing up chances are it's because you don't have the blueprint for that specific item once you get the blueprint for an item it shows up in your foundry and the cool thing about that is your foundry will always tell you what items you need to build that specific that specific frame or weapon or frame part or whatever whatever it is you're trying you're trying to build but anyway guys that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for um this warframe beginners guys like i said guys just a basic tutorial of the ship and how to get how to get started on the game i'll have more future videos on warframe but if you all enjoyed this one smash that thumbs up button for me and i want to thank you all so much for watching it's your boy tenek 127 and please don't forget to like share subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video till next time peace out take care